Right, so now moving on to the next card here, which is the AC to DC converter card. Um, as you can see, I'm always set up now. I have to set up jumpers on here between TP2, TP5, pin 86 on the extender, and um, that links all together. Um, the other cards are just are removed apart from the um, reference card because they look, work together. And I just want to double check I've got this right. So disconnect the power amplifier board, the oscillator control assembly, and the oscillator assembly. All right, so yeah, they're out. I've also got the um, attenuator assembly. Actually, I'll slide that back in here. It doesn't say anything about that, but I'll, I'll leave that in just in case it matters. I don't think it does, but uh, just for the sake of completeness, let's switch that back in. Okay. Um, so let's do some checking. Now, the first thing it does, like all the other ones, is some voltage checks. So um, you can see the meter there. So I'll just uh, change the number of places. Let's go down a little bit. Let's make it a bit easier to read. Mess. All these digits, I don't think that many digits. Not for this part, anyway. It just makes it a bit quicker. Right. So let's turn it turn on and um, see what we get. So I've got to test on pins. I've actually fitted uh, pins onto the header on the extender here, so I can just get straight onto them really easily. And I need to do onto pin 67, pin 61, pin 65. All right, so 67, 61, 65. So let's check. So 67 first. 15 volts, fine. 20 volts, fine. 15 volts, fine. So now the first one is actually over voltage slot it's supposed to be between 14.9 and 15.1 and that's not quite what it's giving so it did 15.3 right, so let's verify this again so 15.3 I'm getting there right I'm getting 19.9 there which is acceptable and I'm getting 15 there so that's pin 61 that's between 14.5, yes, that's, that's fine. But the minus 15 is slightly out. Is that right? Hold on, no, that's 67 there. Let me get this right around, hold on. I'm going backwards, that's 67 here. This is 67. So that is fine. That's within spec. That is 65, and that should be 20 volts, and it's in spec, that's fine. And this is minus 15, and that's within range. It's okay, it's fine. I was thinking of this backwards some reason. So it's supposed to be between minus 40.5 and 15.5. So uh, that's that's within spec. That's okay. Um, the next thing also wants to do, I've actually broken this up a little bit to try and make it quicker to do, because it says do that one, check it with the load, do that one, check it with the load, do that one, check it with the load. Right. So what I've got here, pre-prepared, is a load here, all right? So it says to use a 270 ohm resistor, which is what's on here. So I'm just going to wrap that around the probe. I use this on the um, when I was doing the reference assembly checks as well, so exactly the same setup. So now I'm going to shove it in there and just probe with that, and that should mean that um, I can check the loading side of it as well at the same time, just, just by touching it on nice and quickly, all right? So let's do the same check. So 67, still fine. 20 volts, still fine. Minus 15 volts, still fine. So, yeah, those can take that 270 ohm load just fine, but of course those terminals. So that's all good. Um, so I shall look at the next section. Okay, the next step is to measure the 5 volt rail uh, inside the guard 5 volt rail. So I've already moved the probe um, onto pin 85, although in theory it says 85, um, according to the manual, the pairs are actually joined up, so 85 and 86 are effectively the same terminal. I haven't actually verified that, but I think it is. Let's just do a measurement, actually. Um, yeah, let's do measurement. Let's do ohms. 85, 86. Uh, getting a bit there. Let's go into there. Let's put lead resistance. 
yeah so I don't know maybe might be all right anyway um, I'm gonna do it as per the manual depends it says in here so there's no debating it then it's just it is what it is so I've got it on pin 85 here and I need to measure um, on pin 84 for between 4.75 and 5.25 okay 4.97 absolutely fine now I need to add a 100 ohm resistor to this one this one's a bit different so I need to make sure it doesn't drop by any more than half a volt so let's grab a 100 ohm resistor and I'll be right back okay 100 ohm resistor is on the probe let's try it out and see what this does to it so again it's got to be uh, mustn't drop any more than 0.5 volts from what it was on so it's basically you know 5 volts anyway so it mustn't drop below 4.5 4.96 still absolutely fine so um, no issues there let's double check making sure I've got my this and stuff set up right okay so I've changed it now I'm going to the pin 85 before I've got it going to the common on pin 86 I'm thinking well maybe that's affecting stuff so I'll do it this way and I'll recheck right so on there now yeah, it's still the same, that's absolutely fine, no difference. So what I think what I was doing before was fine anyway, just wanted to be absolutely sure. So uh, that's that one. Now the I need to change this around again. Go to pin 79 is the next check I've got to do. This is 15 volts again, so I'll take this 100 ohm low measurement off. And so I've got to pin 79 and between 14.5 and 15.5 volts. So, if I can find that pin, well, 79 is 4.n, which has got this dot on it. Put some solder dots on some of these other ones to make them a little bit easier to probe. But, uh, right, let's try that one. 14.99, fine. So, that's pretty much perfect. And again, I need to put a 270 ohm load across it. So, do the same again, grab that one, grab the same leaders before, just because I know this one's definitely right, and probe it again. Got a bit of stuff here, it's a bit in the way, but no, it's alright. Stick on again. 40.99, no problem at all. So, it's next step. That's the first page completed. Actually, I should take all these off so no, I know I'm tracking. Be right back. Alright, so also got to check pin 77 with the load on there. Um, so it has to stay above 14 volts, or well, minus 14 volts. Um, okay, so let's check that. 77 is this pin just here. So 15.7. That's fine, it's got to be between 14 and 16 volts, so that's, that's within spec. Um, so that's okay, tick that off. Um, right, I need to do some reconfiguration here, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, the next thing is supposed to be um, putting a T piece on this connection here um, to intercept this signal line so you can measure it. Um, I don't have one. I've ordered some online, um, but I don't know how long it's going to be till they arrive. You know, if I need them now, you know, I need them. So I'm going to. Um, I've got. You know, I've ordered them anyway, even if I don't need them necessarily right now for this particular instrument, um, because I've got a workaround. Now, the workaround is quite a simple one. And is that when the board is in this connector here, or in this um, assembly, I can just touch the terminal like that. I can actually t reach the terminal to touch it, so I can actually measure it through there. So um, I'll have a workaround, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but I will, I've ordered the right parts to do this in the future, so if I need to do it again or, or, or uh, recheck stuff, um, I'll be able to plug it all up properly and with the right cables and whatever. Um, so I need to uh, measure this. So I need to verify I'm on one volt, one kilohertz. I am. Turn it on, it needs to be in standby mode once it's turned up, once it's warmed up a little bit. And um, so 
to make sure I haven't missed anything in the instruction here. So I need to measure it. And divide it by 10 and make a note of that really. But it has to be in standby first. Obviously a bit of warm up time there. So right now I'm nowhere near the right voltage. Come on. There's actually a way of disabling the um, turn on delay. So that's 2.82 volts right now. Um, I'm supposed to divide that by 10. The notes don't quite make sense what I've just seen. So I might have to read ahead on this and then come back after I've actually got my head around what it's asking. Okay, so I figured out what it's supposed to be doing. It's checking the linearity of the most significant digit for the voltage steps at this point. Okay, so because um, it mentions dividing that initial number by 10 because it's on the 10 numeral there. So I'm going to turn this back on again and uh, we'll start checking. So this is in here. So that's 2.2. So I've changed the range on here as well to make it a bit more precise. It needed a precision, I think, for those divisions. Because it said between 5 and 6 volts, but I'm only getting that 2.8 there. For whatever reason, I don't know why that is. Um, I might have to look into that. There might be a calibration thing on this board here, which isn't quite right. Um, so that's on there. So I should go to 9. I should be able to get... Actually, I'll show you this. These are the calculations of what it should be getting. All right. So based on the 2.82 being divided by 10, there should be 0.282 there. All right? Then it's supposed to add that onto each step, and, and you know, so it's linear steps all the way up. So it gives the same reading for all of them, um, or the same difference between each stage. So we'll see what we get. So obviously that one is correct. Nine is to be 2.538. Yeah, it's slightly higher. Um, Eight should be 2.256. Seven should be 1.974. Six should be 1.692. Five should be 1.410. Um, four should be 1.128. So that's a little bit lower. Three should be eight. Uh, sorry, 0.846. So that's also slightly lower. Two should be 0.564 also slightly lower and one should be 0.282 slightly lower as well so the linearity is slightly off um, I'm not sure what effect that will have at the moment it's supposed to be linear so it looks like it's skewing down so there might be a slight loading on it or something or um, it might be that resistor I had to replace it's probably affecting that um, yeah, it could be affecting that reading there if I haven't got it exactly right. Maybe it might not be linear. Maybe that's the importance of getting that part right. So I might have to look into that and just figure out how that part works for the output and check that linearity and um, try and work out what's going on there. It could even be a power supply fault with the power supply is slightly skewed. Maybe it's slightly higher voltage than it should be. Um, it will ex it will um, extend that range, which will then create that non-linearity there. It won't be the same division, but it should be the same division, but. Anyway, it's close, but it's just not perfect. Um, now, it actually says it has to be within that range, plus or minus 0.02% for each step. So I'm just going to sit down and work out what that should be. Well, that shouldn't actually be hard to work out. 0 0.02 means what of each step? Hold on, 0 0.02 of what? Um... Okay, plus 0.02% of the, of the one, or the lowest reading, so that 0.282 needs to be 0.02% of that accuracy. So, my head is not into maths today, so <laughs> let's just get the calculator out. Right, 0.282 times 0.02, that's 0.005 accuracy. So it's actually within that range, um, I think. Plus, no, 0 0.282 minus 0 0.005. Oh, get the button in the way. Right. 0 0.005. Uh, 277 was the lowest, and I think I got 276, didn't I? 
good bit of settling time. Oh no, 278. So that's that's in spec. So although it's not dead linear, it is slightly out. Um, that's in spec. Uh, so that's not so bad. So I'll read on the next bit and we'll carry on from there. So the next stage of this is to measure the um, voltage when it's uh, open circuit from the reference. So you should be able to measure the reference voltage here with the grounds connected, that's a requirement, and um, measuring the voltage there. Now this, this is now between 5 and 6 volts, so I think what it mentions here in the note about having to be between 5 and 6 volts is with the plug disconnected. And I'm going to put a note there as well. So I've got that in future. So I know that I'm looking for the right thing. Okay. So back to this. Now there's a probe on it. Get the right way to create red wire. So stick that in the center terminal bit. Right, so we're getting 5.36 there. And again it should be the same deal. Um, 5.366. That's Looks like it's perfect there actually. 5.365. So yeah, that's actually bang on 10% pretty much. Um, so that should be doubled up. That one there. I should sit down and actually do the maths on this and work out what it should be. It's supposed to be the same thing, linear across the range as well. Okay, so I calculated what it should all be. So that's the list there. Getting shots easy. Alright, so that's what I've got to try and achieve now. Yeah. Well, we should expect to find at least. Probably went in nicely. So, 948285, it's slightly, yeah, it's close enough. Um, 4.292, yep. 3.755, yep. 3.219, yep. 2.6825, well, slightly different, but it's really close. 2.146, yep. Uh, 1.6095. Yep, very close. 1.073 and 0.5365. So yeah, the linearity is perfect with it. It's not plugged into this board. So obviously this board here is dragging it down very slightly. Um, but yeah, that's another chip completed.